Okay, so you've gone through your interviews and now you're waiting for the decision to come back after your interview. So there's three different decisions that can come back. Either accepted, awesome, waitlisted, or rejection. So let's talk about each one a little bit more in detail and what to do if you're faced with one of these three admission decisions. So if you get an acceptance post-interview, great job. You should feel so proud of yourself and so excited. That means the school loves you and they think that you could be a great physician and a great medical student at their school. The biggest thing you need to do is reserve your spot. So once you get an acceptance, schools will send you information on how to reserve your spot in the class. Do it right away. Follow their instructions to a T. Usually it involves replying to their email or to their acceptance notice and then giving them a deposit to hold your seat in the class. Usually the deposit is a maybe a thousand or two thousand dollars. It's absolutely worth it. Most schools will refund you that deposit if you change your mind or they'll refund you up into a certain amount if you change your mind throughout the admission cycle. Whatever it is, reserve it that that money, even if you don't get it back, is a drop in the bucket for your medical education, but you want to make sure you secure your, your acceptance in that spot. The other decision is a wait list, which some people get bummed out about wait lists, but don't get too bummed out. Being on the wait list is really common, and as the application cycle progresses, a lot of applicants are going to be pulled from the wait list and put onto the acceptance list. So it's not too bad to be on a wait list. And you can expect a lot of post interviews are going to be wait lists. So don't get too discouraged, but really remain hopeful that you're on the wait list. The best thing to do on the wait list is to follow up with the school and be checking your emails. So make sure if you're traveling, if you change your email address, things like that, you are keeping up to date and checking the correct email, checking your email regularly, checking your spam mail too, and making sure that the school has all your up-to-date demographical information. So if you change your phone number, make sure they know. The other thing too that you want to do is stay in touch with that school. And this is more discussed in another video, but if the school accepts additional materials while you're on the wait list, it can be helpful to send them a letter of interest and maybe additional materials such as uh, another letter of recommendation if they accept those types of materials. The point is, is just stay active. Don't be completely complacent and stop checking your emails because you're sad you didn't get in right away or not be in contact with them. Just be active in this process. The third and final result is rejection which of course is not what you want to hear post-interview. However, even the strongest candidates are not going to get into every school they interview at. You can expect rejection from some schools that you interview at. And it's not great, but it is just part of the admissions process. They can't accept everybody. So don't get too upset about rejections, but realize that they're natural and kind of work through them. Maybe you get a rejection right away from the first school you interview at. Start to think about what could I have done better? Did Was there something in the interview that maybe wasn't strong enough? Was there some way that I conducted myself that I could do better? And focus on that. So then at your subsequent interviews, you can maybe try to improve yourself and work harder so next time you don't end up on the rejection list. Unfortunately, if you are rejected, there's very little you can do. Those schools do have appeal processes for rejections, but usually they're for extreme cases. And usually if there was something that completely went wrong with the interview or you felt that you were discriminated against or something like that. So it's not a, a common route to try to appeal a rejection. It's more of you accept this decision and move on working and focusing on what you can do better. So these are the three admissions decisions. Of course, we all hope for acceptances, but a lot of you will be placed on wait lists and a lot of you will get rejections too. The point is keep your head up, learn from your mistakes, and make sure you're constantly working to better your application.